what I'm looking at here is a main lake on uh, Travis. There's a channel or creek that feeds in here and you have this long point that comes out, forks and runs right next to this little creek channel. And of course you see the steepness of the bank, the little pockets, washes. Uh, my goal is that we can come across a couple of decent fish and if you notice off to the left all of the bait I mean just balls of bait fish and I believe there's possibly some grass up here on this shallower uh, 8 to 10 foot water and we're gonna work that out and see so it's just a matter of whether we can come across a fish it's a nice day it's warming um, I got 60 degree water temperature and it's been normally 56 57 and uh, we're gonna see what we can't come up with what do you catch that on cutting it jig all right half ounce jig Nice. Good job, Jim. See, I let him have it for just a second. Just a second longer. Jim's got number two. Get him in the boat. <clears throat> You get him in and we'll we'll weigh it because we got a little scale. Oh yeah, nice fish. Good job, Jim. Two fifteen. Good job, brother. Well, that's two. That other one's probably one two. That's probably one and a half. I want some. Uh, Still a nice fish. Yes, sir. We'd be doing good in the tournament right now. And what are you throwing right now? A little tungsten jig. Yeah, tungsten jig. What size? Half ounce. Half ounce. Nice trailer. Good job. Get us a little closer because I oh right there. Get him. Got him. Got him. Got him on video. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Oh, this is a good fish, dude. That's not the metal. <laughs> He's not as good as as that last one you hit, but that's good that the fish are biting. We're gonna do a friendly for the weight. Yeah, I got you. So it's uh, a 14 and a half. We got three keepers. Where'd you put that scale? Should have weighed the first one. It's all right. It's about a little bigger than this one, so. One twenty nine. Yeah. I thought it was two until I caught that other one. Good way to start the morning. So, Bryant's custom jigs. We're going to be throwing a half ounce. Uh, it's got a really nice mustad hook. It's got a great keeper to it. And so, what we're going to do is we're going to be. Oh, you got them. I got a green pumpkin. You got a blue. Yeah, green pumpkin and a blue. And put a nice little trailer on it, a little grub type trailer. And we'll see if we can't continue this little uh, slug fest at Travis. Kind of give you an idea of the setup uh like the jig head it's kind of flat kind of pivot uh, style jig head looks like it cuts through the water and the grass pretty good a nice mustad hook with a great keeper and like i said i've got a grub type trailer menace type and um, we'll see see if we can't knock a few fish so we both missed one yeah I like the way the wind's blowing in here too. So it's gonna change throughout the day. We'll have a south wind a little later. Get, get him. And right off the- Oh, this is a good Oh, right off the bat, Jim's got him one. <laughs> yeah. First time we can put- That's right, he just, just put it on. 
Good job, man. And we'll weigh this sucker. This is a nice little two pounder. I mean, that's that's gonna be closer to three. Brian's custom jigs. Green so, what color are you throwing? Green pumpkin with a little red in it. All right. Yeah. So, same. That's really a good. He's using the same trailer. Here you go. Cottingham is on fire for some fire. You got it zeroed out and we both missed one too. Yep. Hey, it's got the weights from the last tournament on it still, but Judy and Shane fishing fast. Two and a half? Two oh, okay, right two point four six. Good job. Baby. <laughs> hold it up, hold what? it up for me. Hey, Just hold, hold it up for me. Oh, well, that's good. Say, job. Damn, you taste like fish. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, doing it. That's what I like seeing. Well, at least I know how to fish. This is the spot because look at the creek channel swing here. The swing goes from south to east, swings all the way back west again, and then goes north. So I mean, you got the tightest little hairpin swing here but, you know travis is a lake where if there ain't bait fish you're wasting your time yeah, yeah. And this thing's got low well bait fish you saw all the bait oh yeah it's oh, low got it <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> he grabbed that on the fall <laughs> do you see that sucker dancing yeah he grabbed that while it was falling off the edge of the grass that one keeps that means we can go we got our limit that makes five keepers, right? <laughs> hey <laughs> Tired because it's still on. Gotcha. Good job, man. I felt that bite with slack in the line. One, one eight three, one eight three. Yeah, <laughs> so one seven or one eight, and then two one and two five. So we're sitting at about the five fish. What we're sitting about eight. <laughs> yeah, Travis. Travis, fun. So, you know, we just changed up these jigs and I'd, I'd made a bunch of casts with uh, a uh, bobblehead and a, uh, a Strike King uh, trailer. So I'd made a bunch of casts and only got a bite or two. Jim's caught, caught a couple of fish and then we changed up to this Bryant's custom jig and bam, I mean, his first cast, my second, that's because I had to get the net. Got him. I oh, let yeah. that fall to the bottom and he grabbed it. Whoa! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that was right on the bottom. He ain't 246, but no, nope. he's over two pounds. So I just let it fall. When I pulled up, he was weight on it. Now he put that sucker in. Put it down. So one of the things I like about this already is the keeper. So I've caught uh, three fish with this. And if you see the keeper that's on this uh, Mustad hook that he uses is really holding on to that uh, grub. And I think that's important when you're fishing, especially around grass. We all know grass likes to pull them pants down. So more fishing time means more fish. <laughs> yeah, he was on it. I didn't realize he was on it. I just let it go to the bottom. Hey, I just let that drag on the bottom. So that's another. Sorry about that. Let's see about another almost two pounds. Probably about one nine. Look at that 
start to get that black. Oh yeah. I know I've heard what this is. This little black coloration that they get on them. I just can't remember. They're not born with it. Is it not a no, no, no. It's, it happens with their diet or with their with their uh, uh, some sort of in the water kind of thing. One seven six. Oh, got him. Oh, yeah. That's a good fish. Yeah, that's a good fish. Here, look at this. Oh, it's, it's a guad. It's a five pound guad. Let's look at that. Nope. It is a, it's a guad. Look. Yeah, it's a guad. That's a big guad. He hit it running. I mean, he hit that running. He looks like he's over 14. Oh, yeah. I can't see the hook. There it is. mean to throw him in the wall whatever yeah <laughs> I didn't mean to throw him back yeah, easy two pounds easy <laughs> there you go Where you <laughs> no I just started kind of I'd stop for a few seconds with the dragon but that's that grass much fish Yep. It's a keeper. Not nice, but it's a keeper. I don't know if it'll call anything. We. I don't think it'll call anything. Uh, it but be over one seven. Seven eight is our smallest. Yeah. And I think he's probably he's got one fifty four. Yeah. One sixty. Oh, one six zero. Yeah. Oh yeah, in a tournament. Oh, right there. <laughs> you got him? Yeah, I stopped reeling for just a second. Right out of the grass. Nothing uh, to write home about, but... We're going to try this Bryant's uh, custom jigs. It's the 3 8 ounce spinner bait with the trocar. Uh, so we're going to pull it out and see if we can't get a fish. The wind's blowing. We're on this big grass flat. I mean, this, this should do the trick. We're about the right size bait fish matching the hatch. So let's see what we can do. tail and again one of the things I like about this is that keeper right there that keeper is going to really help keep everything together and tight and I'm going to put this on sideways so it gets a little better profile in the water and you still get the kick like anything else in life you don't ever know until you try instead of having it this way I'm gonna have it 
running sideways. That's a good fish. A ride. Yeah, I do see. I like that jig. Hey, look how fat he is. I like the jig. Fire him up, you know, you get that school star going. You get them all kind of excited. There you go. Got him. I don't think he's uh, going to do us any good, but mm -hmm. I love catching rattle trap fish. I'm going to keep him. Yeah. <laughs> well, not a good fish, but uh, better than the last one. Huh? Yeah. Let's see what I can do. Right there. So you got a rock trap right there. Huh? You got a rock trap right there. That's a good fish. Get that hook in you. Don't get that hook in you. I know. I'm trying to grab a line. <clears throat> well, he, he wasn't going anywhere, was he? Nope. That's a good fish, man. That's why I like throwing that trap in that grass. Good job, man. I learned my speed. You got your... Speed you got down. it down now? Well, and I let it fall when I get past that grass. I listened to my guide. <laughs> right away yes, I'm just... it's like a little pocket not real deep but it is right there not like it just dropped a 14 foot oh yeah another one right there <laughs> oh that's a good fish yeah. <laughs> that's, that's right there so look how fat this one is oh, 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 oh he got me fucking a <laughs> I may need your help for it. I don't want to let go of him. Thank you. Can't let him go. Get hold of him, get hold of him. Oh, okay. I got hooks on him. That is a good fish. Oh yeah, get him in the boat. Good job, man. That's a fish. That's a big fish of the day. No, I don't 
think it'd be he, you sure? I don't know. Let's see. Here. I think he's about two pounds. It's zeroed out. Got it? He's pretty though. Yeah, it's a nice fish. Not bad. 14. Yeah, that's the big fish. I don't no, think. Do 246. Oh, okay, 246. That dog broke me off though. Right on that corner. I guess he was underneath there. Yeah. No, no, do what you got to do. I'll get it. I just had to make sure I got the. Lay that on my side. Nobody helps them out at all. Right there. I oh, slowed yeah. down. That's a good one. Yeah, I slowed down. Spur bait. Oh, no, dude. Whoop, it, ain't whoop. Gonna, it ain't going to get my cheeseburger food. Hey. <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. Spinner bait fish. So I went with that same spinner bait and I took the trailer off. Took the trailer off and look what I got. And that's our sponsor. A catch, yeah, and this is Prince. Oh, oh watch it. Yeah, and this is uh, Brian's custom. Yeah, Brian's custom jigs, custom our spinner baits. Jigs. Doing it up. I, I'm thinking about Brent and Tammy, that's why I said Brent's. <laughs> and then we got Brett, Brent. All right. You do. That's a fish you got in the boat. Didn't break your line. That's a shame fish. <laughs> All right. So, uh, everybody, we're fishing here on Travis today. It's, uh, I believe, it's Wednesday, uh, the twentieth. So December twentieth, and. Uh, Jim Cottingham and I just decided to come out and spend the day on Lake Travis for some fun fishing. And uh, started off the morning, it was 60 degree water temperature, it was about 54, 55 degrees uh, air temperature, so really nice. Cloud cover, wind rolling from the east, probably 10, 15 miles an hour, and it changed from the south. Wind's blowing pretty good from the south right now. Uh, we've had a good day, I think we've caught probably close to 20 fish. It's about two o'clock, so we've had a good day. And uh, we started off on a little ledge, main lake point, a um, little grass on top of the ledge, and we started throwing a jig. And, you know, Jim caught a couple of quick fish on a jig, and then we figured out, um, you know, kind of what we needed to do from there. And we started off throwing the, um, the uh, Bryant's custom jig, which I talked a little bit about after I caught the fish. And I'm throwing like a perch combination, and uh, it's a half ounce black with, uh, like I said, some perch color. Uh, I'm using a black and blue uh, trailer, a um, just a grub type trailer. And one of the things I like about this jig is the keeper. Of course, I talked about that as well. And it allows you to fish it through that grass. After you catch a couple of fish, the trailer's not falling down or uh, dropping and then, you know, having an unproductive cast 
the other one is this uh, uh, Brian's custom jig, the custom spinner bait that they have. Same type of keeper, uh, same hook. The blades are just right. We were able to kept, catch a couple of fish with it as well. Uh, they don't sponsor, I'm not sponsored by them, but they do uh, sponsor Blue Line Bass Club, which we both fish for, fish with, and um, you know, that sponsorship's a big deal. I'll put a link down in the uh, uh, description, and if you decide uh, that you might want to check these jigs out or these spinner baits, you can go in there and click that link. I'm not getting anything for it, I'm not, don't expect to. It's just to give you uh, access to uh, his website so you can take a look and see what they got available for you. Um, other than that, we uh, threw a knocker trap a little bit, and I was able to nail a couple of fish with the knocker trap. And then I think I also caught a couple on a, a three and a half inch yum dinger, a light line, you know, 12 pound test line, a little eight ounce uh, tungsten. And I'm gonna let Jim kind of talk to you a little bit about what he did next, since he was doing something just a little bit different, and uh, he seemed to catch a little bigger and a little better fish. <laughs> Today, came fishing with Shane. I used two half ounce jigs. I used the Green Pumpkin Bryant custom jig, and that caught our biggest fish, which was 246. Yeah, 246. And then I caught another one with it, and I also used a half ounce Kitek jig with the. Both of them I use the same trailer. It's a Zoom Twin Tail, and then uh, use Shane's knocker. But we had a good day. He said 20. I think is more like 25, but we'll see when the video comes out. But uh, Travis is good fishing right now if you can get on it. And uh, I want to thank Shane. We had a blast.